Good morning, girls. Say good morning, everybody. Thanks for watching our video today. That's their voices, right? Not really. But she's like, hey, stop filming me. Give me some food, yo. <laughs> Bye, doggos. See you later. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. I'm going thrifting today. Allie is helping one of our friends, one of our good friends got a new house and she's helping her renovate the house, which is really cool. That's one of Allie's passions and she's she's super good at it. She's super good at like uh, design and interior decorating. She's amazing at it. So she's off having fun doing that and I thought I could take the day to kind of hit a few thrift stores close by though because I have a package. So check this out. I have a package that's supposed to be getting delivered today and in in this package is an item that I've been after for at least three years. It's something that I've never been able to get my hands on because it's it's pretty expensive. Um, but this time I was able to get it in a in a lot, in a wholesale lot. So as soon as that package arrives at the UPS store, I'm gonna go and pick it up and show you what it is. But for now, let's run into this Goodwill store and see if we can find anything cool to flip online. Looks like they just brought out a few new racks. So let's take a quick look. And see if there's anything good on the new racks. This Goodwill is kind of low on inventory right now, from what I've seen. Looks like all the same shirts here. Yeah, so the uh, the new racks sometimes do have good stuff on them, though. Hey, are those pickleball paddles? They are fly bold graphite pickleball paddle. Some some chipping on this one looks like, and amazing Asus with a uh, name on it, but it's only two dollars. These are only two dollars for nice pickleball paddles if you're not aware some of these paddles can be worth a ton of money and for two dollars I'm, I'm more than likely going to keep these but for two dollars sometimes these can be worth like 50 60 bucks i'll try to get the hope name rubbed off of this amazing aces one but if you're not familiar with pickleball get familiar with it looks like we have a fake north face jacket so you can tell that this north face jacket is definitely fake because it doesn't have any of the right markings it doesn't have any of the right inner tags and here's the uh here's the inside tag that they put on it so definitely a fake north face jacket they just added that logo to it so for reference here i just found a, a real north face jacket this is what the tags are supposed to look like inside of a north face jacket all the tags and then there should be a holographic tag yeah holographic tag underneath so honestly even though there wasn't that much stuff at that goodwill for me this is one of my favorite finds that i've found in a long time at a goodwill because i love pickleball i'm a little bit obsessed with it right now it is the fastest growing sport in america you got to give it that but these are probably going to go into my personal pickleball paddle so i have extras for when other people want to play um but those those paddles I mean some of them can be 60 to 80 dollars a piece new so use 30 40 bucks and I paid four dollars for both of those so yeah nice little backup paddles let's keep thrifting all right next stop today is going to be the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store this one's kind of hit or miss for us they tend to not get as many donations as like a Goodwill or a Salvation Army uh, but the quality is the quality is good and we found some good stuff here so let's go see hey just in time for summer some uh, Harley Davidson board shorts I don't know how old these are it looks like they are embroidered on the side uh, Roatan Roatan Honduras love that place and it's a cool like all over print graphic with uh, the Harley Davidson stitched emblem as well this could be a good purchase I'll look them up yeah so for three dollars um, it looks like they are selling pretty consistently for 35 to 40 dollars and this is a larger size size 44 so I am gonna pick them up good for summer I think coming up I think that this pair will sell well so I found this Gormia sous vide I'm just gonna open it quick to see if it is brand new they want thirty dollars for it so if it's new I'll probably pick it up the books are all there let's see Oh, the wire. The wire is not all together. Yeah, this is used. Oh, that's too bad. This probably would have been a good pickup if it was brand new, but used, I would say it's probably not worth picking up. All right, next stop is going to be another Goodwill Superstore. This is one of our local ones, 
and this one usually has some good shoes so that's what i'm going to look for also i just looked at the tracking on the package that i'm waiting for today and it shows that it is delivered so after this goodwill i'm heading straight to the ups store to pick up that package that's a pretty cool pair of austin texas tom's shoes i've never seen these before these are uh, they're not in great condition uh if they were in better condition i might pick them up but pretty cool to see like an austin city shoe looks like some teva brand sandals we've done well with teva in the past they're not like the highest end sandals they're not like chakas or anything but for six bucks i might pick these up if you look on the inside tag of tevas there is a serial number and if you type in that serial number you can easily research them what else do we have oh another pair of toms this is a pair of venice venice toms shoes another city pair yeah i don't know uh, I, I haven't looked up the value of these. Some Toms, I guess, can be worth decent money, but probably not these. Looks like we've got some Bugle Boy. I want to see what this sweater is up here, so stay with me. Let's see what we got. Nothing, 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 nothing. All right, let's see. What is this sweater going to be? It definitely is vintage. And... All right, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. It is a vintage sweater. I love the colors on this one. Oh, but it does look like it has a ton of a ton of stains and marks on it if it didn't have those stains I would probably pick it up anyway because it is a cool vintage made in the USA sweater and speaking of bugle boy Man, this thing is just in time for the 4th of July. How much? Eight dollars. Wow. Okay. That's that's definitely way too much But hopefully someone picks this up and rocks it for 4th of July. It is a cool shirt I'll be honest. I only spent like 10 minutes in that Goodwill. I didn't find anything to flip But I'm too excited to go get this uh, this item. I've been waiting for so Let's go do that. Box secured. There's actually two. That's another wholesale box, but it's this one right here. It's in there. Let's go home and open it. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so I had to sit down to go through these just because I'm so excited and I want to, to show them full justice for what these, these shirts are. The craziest one is on the bottom, the one that, like I said, I've never had before. I've looked for this shirt for a good deal for probably two, three years, and I finally got it. So I'm gonna start at the top one and go through these. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. By the way, please, if you haven't yet, hit the thumbs up button on this video and consider subscribing. And then also all of the t-shirts, all of these vintage t-shirts will go live for sale on our WhatNot store. There's a link in the description of today's video. I'm not sure when exactly, but we will at some point auction these off on WhatNot, every single one of them, including the, uh, the craziest one. So let's get into these. On the XL Fruit of the Loom tag, we've got the Lorena Bobbitt and Jack Kevorkian. Just kind of like a, kind of like a crazy graphic. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of you know Dr. Kevorkian, Dr. Death. Pretty crazy graphic, but that's just the first one. Again, that's a size extra large on the Fruit of the Loom tag. Next one in here, no tag, but looks like a large. This is a Terminator Judgment Day movie t-shirt. See if I can find a date on this one. This one is dated 1991. So 1991, you got Arnold on the front there. Movie t-shirts for me, probably one of my favorite categories to collect and probably the category that I think has the most room to continue to increase in value. Next one, this is just such a cool graphic for a Looney Tunes shirt. 1997, gigantic Taz face on the front with Bugs Bunny in his eyes. So you got the huge Taz face with the Bugs graphic in his eyes. Just a really nice Looney Tunes statement piece. I wish that this one had the same graphic on the back but it is just the front graphic. Nice shirt though. All right, getting into some liquid blue shirts now. And that's a hint to, uh, to what's coming at the end. That might give it away for some people, but here we go. On the XL liquid blue tag, you've got the Constellations. I love this shirt, all over print, all the way to the sleeves and all the way down to the bottom. I'm not sure if this one is dated. I think it is, oh, there it is, 1993. 1993 liquid blue. Constellations all over print shirt. By the way, because this question does come up a lot, a lot of these liquid blue shirts are reprinted. So the original ones are on this liquid blue white tag. You'll also see gray tags and you'll also see screen printed tags. Those are typically reprints or brand new graphics that they're bringing to market. But like if you see this same graphic on a, a gray tag or on a screen printed tag, it's not the original. So this is the original from 1993. Those other shirts would not be original 1993 prints, even if they're dated, because a lot of the reprints still are dated with the original copyright date. But if they're not on that liquid blue white tag, they're not original 90s. Next up, this is one that I've had before a few times. Also on the white liquid blue XL tag, you've got the amazing Grateful Dead 
all over print, 1992, the crazy roses everywhere, the big Bertha prints in the middle. And this one does have an all over print going on to the back as well. Beautiful, beautiful shirt. This is probably around a $600 piece right now, I would say. Next up, another amazing graphic. This is on the XL Fruit of the Loom tag. And this is an amazing dragon fighting the knight down there. This is actually considered a Jesus tee or a religious tee because of the back. There is a Bible verse, a scripture on the back. It is 2 Corinthians 10, 4, and it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not of this world, but mighty through God to demolish strongholds. So a crazy scripture back hits, but the front of this shirt to me is what makes it so insane. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, there's another liquid blue shirt that's the dragon fighting on the front and that it's got a different print on the back. I have that in my personal collection, but that's kind of what this one reminds me of too. All right, let's keep it going on the XL liquid blue tag. This is probably one that you may have seen before. It is the Lithuania Grateful Dead, not fadeaway graphics from 1992. This is Greg Spears. And then it has the bronze medal winner Barcelona hit on the back. We're almost to the big one. There's one, two, three, four more tees, and then an insane grail piece. But speaking of that dragon shirt that I was just talking about, there's one in this lot. So on the XL liquid blue tag, this is the other one that I was talking about, the one that I have in my personal collection as well. The dragon on the front, and again, the dragon scene on the back. This is a shirt that I've actually worn to the Renaissance Fair a few times because I think it's like the most fitting vintage t-shirt to wear to a Ren Fair. And once again, this is an original piece from 1993, single stitch all the way around, and this one is in great condition. Very cool. Next up, we have another Looney Tunes Taz piece. This is another one that I've never had before. 1996, trademark Warner Brothers, that's the front hit, and then it has the all over print back hit as well. So Wizard Taz is what I would call this one. Nice size, I believe this is an adult size extra large. Yes, adult size extra large made in the USA. Just really cool colors on this one, kinda, kinda muted color scheme, but really nice shirt. All right, how about another dragon tee on that white liquid blue size large tag? This is the double dragon one. So you've got the huge red dragon print on the front and then the same green dragon on the back. This one is dated 1996 liquid blue. Again, on that true 90s vintage liquid blue white tag, beautiful piece. Another liquid blue piece, another size XL on that white tag. This is one that um, I've had in my personal collection a couple of times. I believe the artist on this is Chris Pinkerton, if I'm not mistaken. You've got the giant moon all over print on the back. And then on the front of this one, you've got the sun print. This one has a couple different variations. I believe this is the more desirable variation with this sun on the front. This is 1992 liquid blue. And then the crazy moon hit on the back. There's just something about these true vintage 90s liquid blue all over print pieces that just makes me super happy. And now the final piece, the one that I've been waiting for, the one that I've never had before. Are you ready? Let's go. Again, on the XL True Vintage white liquid blue tag. This one is faded in nicely, but it does still have the copyright hit, 1994 liquid blue. Are you ready? Here we go. This is in my opinion, the liquid blue grail. Now what makes this piece so desirable is a lot of people in the community called this Weapon X. So a lot of people thought or called this the Weapon X t-shirt and they considered it like a Marvel mega print, which those t-shirts can be very, very expensive. And if you're not familiar with Weapon X, it's from X-Men. It's a like a project name that included uh, Wolverine and like Deadpool and Sabretooth. But basically that's what people associated this t-shirt with when actually the real name of this shirt is called Overload. It's a liquid blue overload t-shirt. And that drove the price of this particular t-shirt through the roof. But besides that, the details in this shirt, I'll try to get some close-ups, but it is an insane, insane piece. Like there's so much going on in this piece. Even on the back graphic in his spine, there's a little liquid blue logo right in the middle. This is one of those shirts that obviously costs liquid blue a lot of money to print because there's so much going on. It's an all over print. There's so many different colors. So again, that kind of adds to the nostalgia, to the value. Now, 
let's talk about value for a second. This shirt in a size XL in this condition, this is an amazing condition. This is probably, like I said, this is the first one I've had, but I have seen this shirt a few times before. This is probably the best condition one that I've seen. It's worn in nicely, there's a nice fade, but it's in amazing condition. So in this condition on the size XL, I would say in my opinion, current market value on this shirt is right around $1,500 to $2,000. Now I've seen this shirt in the past sell for closer to $3,000. I don't think that's where the market is on it right now, but this is one that would be worth holding on to in my opinion, because I feel like the value is probably gonna continue to, to at least remain the same or continue to rise up. I'm gonna keep it probably for a little bit and then at some point, it will again go onto our whatnot auctions. So again, if you are interested in this piece or any of the other pieces that I just opened, make sure to go and follow us on whatnot. And I think that this is probably the best place to end today's video. A little bit of thrifting, got some awesome t-shirts. Thank you all so much for watching, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for lots more stuff just like this, and we will see you on the next one. Love you guys, later, bye.